Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna go over uh, supercharging uh, and salvage Teslas. So, as some of you may know, Tesla disables supercharging on uh, salvage Teslas. Um, it's kind of random when they actually disable it. Sometimes you can have a salvage car for years that supercharging works on. And sometimes, pretty quickly after it gets totaled, they disable supercharging. And the way they do it is they check uh, databases such as Carfax and if they find uh, that the car was totaled they basically log into the car remotely and uh, change a flag on the car's computer uh, preventing the car from charging at Tesla superchargers. Uh, that's actually illegal for them to do. Um, they shouldn't legally be you know it shouldn't legally be possible for them to log in into your car and change software settings on your car but they still do. Uh, of course they still allow like Hondas and Fords and all these other manufacturers, if those cars are salvaged and totaled, those uh, cars can actually charge fine on Tesla superchargers with an adapter. So if uh, your car gets uh, salvaged, or if you buy a salvaged uh, Tesla, what do you do? Well, first of all, if you have a newer car, uh, mid-2020 or newer, it's gonna work with a CCS charger, such as Electrify America, EVgo, all of those. And the way you can check if it's gonna work on those chargers is uh, you can go to the software tab, click on additional vehicle information and uh, CCS and third party next DC charging. If it shows enabled, then you can charge on those stations with an adapter. If it shows uninstalled or not, not installed, then you can do a CCS retrofit um, and it's gonna work with an adapter then. So this specific car actually I charged it at a supercharger two weeks ago and it worked fine. Uh, but today I opened the Tesla app and I noticed that it says no supercharging access or it says something like no access to supercharger network. And that's the best way to tell if your car has access to supercharger or not through the Tesla app under the specs for the car. So it worked two weeks ago doesn't well supposedly it's not gonna work now so I'm gonna test it it shouldn't work it should just light up red if it doesn't work well or, or boom I guess uh, so yeah supercharging not enabled try AC charging so what can you do in such case you can take a car to Tesla uh, to do a high voltage inspection on it and pay them like 1500 bucks or 1300 something like that. Or what you can do is you can buy one of these devices. Uh, this one is called uh, Two Fox 3. And what it basically does is it fools the car into thinking the supercharging is enabled. The way it actually works is it uh, connects between the charge port computer, uh, that computer right there, between that and the car's main computer. And when the main computer tells the charge port ECU that supercharging is disabled, it will basically just uh, uh, ignore that signal. So the way you install it, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this plug right here. You need, you need to pull out. And instead of it, I have to plug in this device. And then, let's see if I can do this with one hand. So the first time I didn't start in the right order, I think I had to unplug everything. Uh, plug in this first, and then plug that in. Let's see if it works. So now it's working. So for those of you who might ask in the comments whether this is legal or not, uh, well, of course it's legal because it's your own car. You can modify your own car whichever way you want. Uh, what is not legal is for Tesla to remotely log in into your car and start changing settings on it just because you, they don't want you to use a supercharger until you pay for that inspection. Uh, they're saying that this is 
supposedly to prevent fires and supercharging for safety. But as, as I know, this car is safe because I supercharged it before. And uh, these cars can supercharge, they can fast charge on other, other networks without issues. Um, I never heard of a salvage total car catching on fire at Electrify Miracle, for example. And furthermore, they do allow like Fords and Hondas and Kias and all those other EVs to charge in superchargers with adapters, even if they're salvaged or junked, titled, or who knows what kind of work they've had done to them before. And those can still charge. So hopefully that answers questions about supercharging and uh, salvage Teslas. And uh, if you want to buy one of these devices, I'm going to post a link in the comments and uh, good luck.